Hello, everyone. This is Edna Keefe with Seven Figure Real Estate. And today I have with me Robert Seifert. And uh, Robert, tell us a little bit. I know when I uh, read your bio, I thought, you know what, you're a good connection for uh, for my group. Uh, I always feel like if I'm curious about what the heck you're working on, that my audience will be as well. So give us a little bit about your background, how you got into real estate and where you see it taking yourself over the next little while. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so my beginning in real estate actually started off of not doing real estate. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm, I'm, I'm the story of I was sparked by real estate at a young age, 18. I watched a Russ Whitney commercial and I thought it was absolutely amazing. It was the thing that I needed to do. Yet I grew up in a household of go get good grades, go get a great job. Um, that pays well and work that out until you retire. So I was always afraid to actually do real estate. And I probably spent well over a decade from that time um, reading, consuming, studying, just wanting to do real estate and just thinking I would, I, I don't know enough. I don't know enough. I don't know enough. Finally, there was a, a big pivot in my life that kind of forced me to go one way or another. And I went all into real estate um, and I've never looked back, fortunately. And I learned way more <laughs> in the first <laughs> few years and first hundreds of deals doing real estate than I ever read in any book. Oh, um, that's so true. So that's my story. You know, the, 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 the give you some of what's in the bio. I've, I've, you know, I've flipped and managed over 500 doors myself. I've coached um, and managed over 50 different individuals throughout and grown massive organizations around real estate through flipping uh, properties buy and hold properties. I ran and owned a couple property management companies north of 500 doors. Um, I grew that all and then ran it virtually moving from Metro Detroit, Michigan, where I was born and raised down to Tampa, Florida, where I've been for the last five years. And as a result of that, um, in looking to expand my own operation and solving problems that were coming up to make it more efficient to allow me to scale and have more time, I built a software business, which is now realestateinvestor.com and started prov providing all of the, the CRM and the tools and the, the done for you services um, for other members. And it's kind of the direction my life has taken is I still own a real estate operation that someone else runs for me. I'm primarily focused on the doing for others part. How can I serve this community and finding more and more ways uh, to serve other people to make sure that they don't have the long way that I did to get Learning into this. Good, yeah. <laughs> Let me, let me well, shortcut how does, that. Your, how does your software program work, Robert? Uh, so essentially at its core, we're, we're basically like a CRM for anyone that doesn't know what that means. It's a client relationship management. And the core basis of it is we've just, I just leveraged technology to do follow-up. I found follow-up and coming from a sales background, follow-up's the name of the game. Like most people think you're going to get in this and do a deal on your first phone call. And you might get lucky. We, we call that a ladybird deal. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's far and few between and the, most of the money that you make in real estate is through follow and any sales is follow up. Yeah. We used to have, as I was building that, I was doing that manually myself. Then I hired a bunch of VAs to do that for me because I knew it needed to be done, but it didn't have to be me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just learned all about technology and I was like, wait a minute, I, technology could do all that. And so I leveraged technology and that became the, pro the core product of what we do is that. Um, and it does everything else, like your contracts, your appointments, your, you know, if you blast deals out as a wholesaler, it, it has all that functionality in there. But the core of it is just automating the follow-up so you don't have to do it. You don't have to hire someone to do it. Technology can do it for you through texting and emailing. And even voicemails can be left without you actually physically making a phone call. So it's pretty, pretty neat in that aspect. So when you say client, would that be like uh, houses that you're looking for to flip or would that be investors or tenants? Which, which would be your ideal client inside your CRM? Yeah. So the reason I use the word client is because yes, yes, and yes is the oh, Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyone could follow up with anyone in sales. But so our customer predominantly is someone who invests in real estate. Uh, meaning they're they're looking for sellers, right? That are selling their property most likely. Um, they are potentially looking for buyers to buy from them. Um, but I use the word client because you could be looking for investors and you could use this as an automated follow-up way to everything that has a relationship okay. requires you to stay in touch and further that relationship. Um, so you can do that no matter what the relationship is, you can do that in an automated way. Uh, sellers, buyers, agents, contractors, 
your plumbers, your listing agents, your investors. Um, so the one platform can handle all that for you. So that's why I say clients, but real estate investors specifically that are like looking to find sellers or buyers um, and make money in the transactions or just, just following up with their portfolio of uh, properties. So in, in, when you kind of compare your CRM to say others, so I've been using Infusionsoft for years and a lot of people call it Confusionsoft and I know oh, why. I, I never did learn it. I had to pass it on to my assistant. How, how would yours differ, say, from something like that? Yeah, totally different worlds, right? So Infusionsoft is a, an amazing uh, marketer's platform. Right. And it, and it does a lot of functionality and going all over the place, but primarily focused on email um, and funneling through that email series where ours is more. It has a phone that has the ability for you to send texts and emails. And so like Infusionsoft, we automate the email sequence. We can build out a whole funnel like that. But where where they what they can't do is the, our system is also going to actually make phone calls, make text messages. When the person replies to that, you can text them and call them back from in the platform and keep all your notes about that. Oh, um, now, I don't know enough about Infusionsoft, but I'm pretty sure Infusionsoft doesn't do most of what I just said. Um, so ours is very specifically built for buying and selling properties, you know, for real estate investors, or, you know, if you're an agent listing properties and working with your listings. Okay. Okay. So um, my audience and what we do mostly is um, buy multifamily and okay. look for investors. So yep. how would we use it in that sense? Does it work yeah. for multifamily as well? It does. The only difference would be there are some feature sets that are within it on our professional level um, that may mean less to you, right? Like for instance, we have automated property comp comps in there. Well, that's not going to be very effective for a commercial multifamily property. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to need to do your own due diligence. I wouldn't trust some automatic public comps that we can get for a single yeah. family. No problem. Works all okay. day. Yeah. Um, but from that, there are some core things about buying multifamily or buying single family that aren't going to change, right? So you're still going to talk to the prospective seller. You're still going to market to them and they're going to contact you back. Yeah. And you're still going to need to follow up with that person until you can get to a point of a contract. And then you're going to need to send a contract. Yeah. So all of that functionality of our system, whether you do that with appointments or not, is all built in. So you can call them from the platform. You can text them from the platform. You can send emails from the platform. They can reply back and keep all that notation in one place. You just typically have a smaller, I'll say a smaller volume than you're going to make more money off of less transactions in multifamily mm -hmm. than someone who's got to go after, you know, hundreds of single family properties to get the same kind of return. But nonetheless, you're still doing the same core things. You're still following up with the seller and negotiating a deal, whether you go on appointments to go view it or not, and you're still doing a contract at some point before you can do anything. So all that the system manages and handles, even for multifamily. And the cool thing is, same thing, the follow-up with them automatically happens through text messages, emails, or what we call ringless voicemail drops, where you're leaving a voicemail message for the party without actually physically calling them and even one-off postcards. Um, now taking that a step to further inside the same system, if you have investors, cause obviously you're looking for syndications and things that you're doing to take down the bigger projects. Mm -hmm. um, you can put all of your investors in the same system under a different category, keep your notes from the conversations you have with those investors and automate the follow-up. You would just be saying something different to them. So if you know what you're normally going to do or say when you're following up with an investor just to continue to foster your relationship, you can write out those text messages because you can customize them. Write out what would I say on a voicemail if I just called them to touch base? What would I say in an email if I was just sending an email to make sure we're on the same page? I may not have a deal right now for them to look at, but I want to keep communication happening. You can automate that um, nurturing of the relationship with them. Okay. And then keep all your notes in one place about them and what deals they're connected to as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. We always talk about, yeah, the, the fortunes and the follow-up. So uh, yeah, yeah, keeping it all in one place. That's one of the challenges I have is uh, because confusion soft <laughs> is so complicated. I still keep my notes manually and sometimes stuff goes awry. You know, I look back, uh, you know, sometimes in my notes and go, Oh, I, did call Joe back, you know, so the assuming it would also give you reminders, um, yep. you know, dates that you could pull out and say what day you want to talk to him about such and such or whatever. 
Yeah, you could add task management that automates on the date you want to say, or you could take it to the next level and physically schedule an appointment to do a phone appointment at a specific time and date, and then the system will remind you that you made those things. So you don't have to, I'm, I'm the same way, I'm a, I'm a, I don't know if it'll show up because of my background, yellow, yellow notepad guy, yeah. I like to keep my notes. The cool thing is I still do that, and then I instantly transfer my notes into my CRM so they're there, and I tag the next date that I need to do something with it so the system will remind me. Um, I use it for my own personal brand. I use it, I use it for a lot of stuff yeah. outside of real estate. And, and how easy is it to use? Super easy. So, it's, I mean, it's built out of the box to do all these things for you um, because it's it, – and it's super – uh, I like to say it's intuitive um, and we're only going to continue to make that more intuitive. Um, but the, the difference between it and most products, most, most products out there are built by technology people mm-hmm. um, and they're amazing people, uh, but they're not an actual investor. Yeah. Yeah. That's the difference. This was built by, uh, while I'm not the tech guy that built it, I am the guy that's the investor that said, no, nah, I can't do that. that doesn't even, I wouldn't do that. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, doesn't it needs to sense. ebb and flow like me as an investor and it needs to be dynamic and have the flexibility and capability of going where I want it to go. And by the way, it's gotta be super simple. <laughs> okay. Perfect. I don't wanna take time to learn it. So, so do you give, uh, you know, when you're first, uh, if people want to know more about this and connect with you, like, is there a place where they can go to kind of see a, a tutorial or, or how, how do you handle that? Yeah, we do so much at our company because we also provide services for people and VAs and everything. So we just, if you go to realestateinvestor.com, right in the middle of the page, if you're just looking for a simple tool, you can click the button, you can hop on. We'll actually do one-on-one demos and show people specific to their business, how it would function and work for them. Um, Or if you're looking for services or coaching, we have all that on the website too. So anywhere that you click on the very main page is going to take you down the path. Of okay. learning and, and seeing what you need to for what you're looking for. So what kind of real estate coaching do you do? Uh, very interesting. We So we we follow a model called EOS or Traction okay. uh, with, by a gentleman named Gina, uh, uh, Gina Wickman that wrote a great book. And so we, we teach that as a business model for entrepreneurs in general. And so our coaching comes in three levels. It really just depends on where you're at in your business. Most beginning level people, if you're there, it's it's all in your game. It's all in your head. You're you know that's why I didn't do anything for ten years. That was all in my head. Isn't that right? the truth? So yeah. We help fix that and get yeah. you doing the right actions and taking the steps and holding you accountable to it. From that, as you scale through the system, we're then working on every business needs to have a scorecard or metrics they run off of. So we're teaching you how to metrically run a business and coach and hire and bring in the right people on the bus and then move them to the right seat, right? And so they start doing your work for you. Yeah. And then from there, as you continue to scale and you have a metrically ran business, well, then we get into like masterminding and networking and opening the doors to people like you. Like, well, maybe your interest is not single family, but it's the thing that you had to do for your entryway. What else is available to you? you I know you're interested, you know, you have free time now because your yeah. business is taking <laughs> cash flow. What else interests you? Is it multifamily? Is it notes? Is it, you know, private lending and being a hard money investor? And so we open the doors um, and we also open the doors that experts we work with right on the important things like, you know, what's the number one expense you're going to have in your life? Well, it comes with three letters and uh, we, we help bring in some of the experts we work with. Um, could, could you be a little bit smarter about what you're doing uh, so you keep more of your money, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, and things like that? Okay, perfect. And uh, so... But is it, it's, is your coaching program more based on helping people get into fixing and flipping or, or are you open to all kinds of uh, strategies? Yeah, we're actually open to all kinds of strategies, which is just the unique thing. We don't focus on a strategy, Okay. Um, which, which is why you didn't hear me mention an actual strategy. We're focused on the fundamentals of business and, and, and yeah, starting exactly. with your mind first and then building upon that fundamentally. So your exit really doesn't matter the fundamentals are still the same. So we're very focused on the fundamentals around real estate. So whatever you do, we're going to fundamentally help you grow that. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, somebody's brand new beginner, they're not really sure where they want to go. I still remember we actually started with Russ Whitney too, you know, uh, ah. we only, I only met him once 
and he was kind of sitting on a panel on stage so didn't really even meet him but shortly after Robert Kiyosaki kind of took over so he was kind of our, our main guy but uh he he has like a or had like a repertoire he taught everything like everything you could imagine about real estate and so is that kind of the approach you take but not just real estate it's also basically if you want any kind of business business acumen that could be taught as well yeah i mean currently our coaching our coaching itself is focused on real estate uh but we are opening up what we're calling our marketplace community which is going to open the door to whatever it is you need to learn it's going to be centered around real estate of course because it's mm -hmm. our core competency um, but it's going to open the door to the right tax people, property management, totally different realms that you could go down, right? And uh, funny you say that, my first uh, major seminar that I went to and course that I bought before I took like bigger action was all through Kiyosaki and Rich Dad Poor Dad course and Cash Flow Game. And um, so he was very impactful in my journey. And, and that actually the first seminar I went to with theirs was like, yeah, I'm going to go learn this thing and I'm going to finally know the last thing I need to do. And all they did was show me like, well, there's 50 ways to make money and you can do international and notes and this. And I'm like, what? I thought we just bought and fixed <laughs> houses. I didn't know you could do it. Now I'm more confused. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now I don't know what I, I want to do. That people spend too much time on education. I always say, you know, you got to yes. pick a strategy and the sooner yeah. you can do that, the better. And then you got to focus on it until you know it, because there are so many ways to make money to, to do, to do well in business or real estate that yeah. if you don't pick a focus, you can really go down rabbit holes and never, ever come out. Uh, and I always say you can educate yourself until the cows come home, but until you're actually taking action and buying property, it doesn't count anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, I heard it said, uh, I heard it said really well, right? Knowledge is not power, applied knowledge is power. Applied knowledge, that's right. So when you when you bring your students through, like, so, okay, so they're brand new, and you know, we're all scared when we're brand new, right? What, what are some of the mindset stuff, things that you, you know, point out uh, and help people with? Yeah, the, really the biggest thing in the beginning and the things that I had to overcome personally, and most of us do, are, are mostly fear. Right. And there, there are different fears. And a lot of times the harder work in that is helping them identify where that fear is coming from, because there's usually some sort of trauma or something that and not even what they would classify as trauma, but yeah. something that occurred that has now made them have a fear that's just not true. Yeah. Right. And so it's it's helping them agree. So it's a lot of it is getting them to um, open up to what the fear is and then agree to an action that they can clearly consciously see, well, that sounds like a smart action I should take and would go where I need to go. And then, and then really like holding them accountable to actually taking that action because they'll find that once they take the action, probably didn't go anywhere near the negative stuff they told themselves that would happen. Yeah, and yeah. So now it's planted that small seed of, well, oh, well, that wasn't that bad. Then you get them to take a next action and, and they have to be small usually in the beginning and every person is different and you know on how small or how big those actions can be um but generally especially the newer 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 and especially for me is it just do one little tiny thing and you end up getting a good result and you're like oh well that felt good and then they'll do another and they'll do another and now they're creating a whole new loop in their mind yeah. uh well i'm i'm more and more successful the more i do this stuff and they'll start to face their own fears and they'll grow from that yeah, yeah, it's a really, really good start because yeah, you're right. I know that was ours. We were scared. We were scared of tenants and toilets and furnaces and uh -huh. roofs <laughs> and all the big exactly. the costly items. And the, and of course, everybody likes to tell you the horror stories that they've experienced with tenants, which uh, yeah. in some cases can be kind of funny, but it's also a little scary at the same time. So that's that's the biggest hurdle to get over with. Um, Robert, how do people find you? Uh, so number one, realestateinvestor.com is the simplest place, right? It's every, everything that I do under real estate. And then if you're looking to connect on social media or you have a preferred place, I have a site called iamrob360.com. Okay. You can chat with me on LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever, wherever works for you, I'm everywhere. Okay, sounds good. Anything else you'd like to leave us with? Some parting wisdom? You know, you said it best actually in there. It's usually the question I get asked, but you kind of already said it, right? Focus, like focus is the number one wisdom uh, that you can have. Like you've got to be narrowly focused on one thing and become really, really good at that yeah. uh, before you entertain other things or else you'll just end up doing a bunch of stuff 
but actually do nothing. And then getting nowhere, yes. Exactly. And then the, the next part to that is, is uh, just like Nike says it, just do it. Just do something. Because as soon as you start doing action, like that was, I don't have regrets in life, but if I was to say something was a regret, it was the, the decade that I didn't take the right actions. Because um, I just know where I would have been if I would have done things 10 years earlier. Yeah. Uh, and you know what, right. that's the that's the thing with dealing with a coach too, right? They can short circuit any of that kind of stuff. Those learning yes. curves, the, uh, you know, what do, what do I want to be when I grow up? Well, you know what, yes. I started here and I went here and here and here and here. But if I were to start over, I'd go here. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and that that's the, the, next, the next success piece of the model, right? Hire great coaches, the best in the world, hire great coaches there. And there's never a level where you don't hire another coach. I have several now. Tell me, tell me some of the coaches work. you're working with right now, Robert. Uh, so I have a coach that, that works with me on all of my health and fitness and, and stuff, the piece people take for granted, right? But all yeah. our energy in the world comes from yeah. that. So I have a health coach I meet with every single, I have a call with him shortly after this. Okay work on what I'm going to be doing this week on my food and hold me accountable to make sure I'm eating right, I'm training right, and I'm doing the things that I need to fuel my body that fuel all my life and business. I have a spiritual mentor that helps me on my internal journey and what I'm listening to and what decisions I'm going to make. I have a business coach that specifically helps on, I, I got into a SaaS, as they call it, a software as a service company, and I knew nothing about it. So oh, almost four years ago now, he's the best in the world. Hey, if I want to, if I'm going to really build this CRM for other people, I need someone that can help me build that type of business and, and shortcut my learning curve and Absolutely. eliminate the fears that I have about a business I know nothing about. Yeah. Um, and I've had several different ones in real estate as I grew through real estate. So I've transitioned from different ones. Mm -hmm. um, but anything, if I want to go learn something, I could read a book, I can apply it, or I could just go hire the person that wrote the book. <laughs> and they could shortcut well, i don't i don't if i don't have to read 300 pages and you could teach me in one phone call what to do or what not to do i'm gonna go there and, well, and, and the, commonly, i'll go ahead the thing with the book too is they've got to tell you everything but that doesn't necessarily mean that everything applies to us right and right. in a short conversation this is what i find anyway a short conversation i can say okay my challenge is here here and here i'm good with the rest and then boom, boom, boom. And that's another reason that can make you go that much further for, uh, and faster, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. I just, I just, I read a book um, on fundability and looking at business lines of credit at a different level. And after reading the book, I literally called the guy. So how do I hire you? Because I already know you covered everything. Um, and how this do, is what how I, I hire you to just do mine, specifically yeah. what I want. Yeah, and was he was he willing to do that for you? Because you know what, not all are, right? Not all. They have a whole program they don't advertise, and he's like, "Yeah, we could actually do it all good." Then I just want to hire you. I don't want to watch any more boot camp videos. I don't want. I don't want to come to the course. I just want to hire you. Yeah, I just want to hire you and get there faster. Yeah, and and you know, so many people are kind of scared to spend money on that kind of stuff. I always think most of it is they're they're not scared that the coach doesn't know. They're scared they won't do what the coach tells them they're going to do. Do you have some advice for people like that who are going, well, it's not you. I think you could help me, but it's me. I'm, I'm just scared to, you know, do maybe what you tell me to do. It's, yeah, it's the, you know what, and that's the, that's coming back to everything as a fear. So even when I hired my first real estate coach, when I went all in, it was actually the worst time of my life to do it. But there were a lot of things that led up to that action. I mean, I was literally facing eviction court in a couple days uh, for not paying rent. Uh, my wife went through a lot of medical stra stress. We had like $300 to our name. Oh, um, and I literally uh, faced all my fears and my challenges and said, look, I, I have a choice to make. Like, now granted, this was a tough one and I made the right one, but I, I had an opportunity to hire a coach and he was like, I think he was like ten or $12,000. And I'm like, look, I don't have the money to hire you. Um, but I'm going to hire you and I'm going to get you the money. I don't know how in this exact moment right now, but if you schedule a time in the next two weeks to come here, because he came physically on your site to teach you, uh -huh. I can guarantee you, you will get paid. And he, and it was a leap of faith on my end. Now what I have, what I have found, and that was the first major one for me, but what I have found since then is every time that I seem to take a leap of faith, uh, whether you believe in the universe, God, or whatever it is, something always seems to come through for me. 
And those things fill because I took that leap of faith. And so I took that leap of faith and literally within less than 24 hours, I had the money to pay for that guy. And, and you know what? It's uh, what do they call it? Faith in action, right? They, you, it can't just be, I'm going to sit here and have faith that everything's going to yeah. cover me. It's like faith in action. I got to be moving forward and making stuff happen because yeah, you know, that's, I, I remember when a story, one of my coaches told me, he said, yeah, I just had a call with the lady. She says, yeah, I want to make a hundred thousand a month. But I don't want to do anything. And yeah. he says, I don't know how that works. So I guess I can't be a coach. <laughs> you know, like, but but people I think they listen to some of the law attraction stuff and the secret and and they actually think that all you do is sit there and think about it and, and it's gonna happen for you, but it doesn't. It's definitely faith in action, isn't it? Yeah, it's um um actually what it says specifically in the Bible is faith without works uh, is not going to get you anything. Right. And so the faith is the first step and the think and grow rich. They're all great stuff. Law of success. They work. The difference is you have to understand. It doesn't mean you don't have to do work. It just means that if you focus your thoughts intently on something, the ideas and the work and the doors that need to be open will present themselves to you. Now you have to work. Um, And if you don't, well, then your faith isn't really going to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. They're getting, getting nowhere. Yeah. Well, you know what? This has been so interesting, Robert. I, we're very much on the same page. And I, I love that uh, that you help people get through that because I think that's the biggest thing for people. You know, they start out with a fear. They don't know. They don't know what they don't know. And they have the fear. And they allow those uh, limiting thoughts to just hold them. So I love that, uh, that story about you saying, I don't know how I'm going to pay you, but I'm going to. And then, like you say, and then t- things happen. Once you're committed, things happen. What's that saying by uh, Goth, whatever? Um, you've probably heard it before, but it's, uh, you know, when once you decide all things in the universe start happening to make that happen for you, yeah. and, and you can't know that. You can't know the how. You, you may never understand the how, but it's like flick, flicking on the light switch, right? We don't need to know the how. We just need to know that that's how it works. Yes. You just got to be certain about what it is you want. I find most people that are in fear is, is really, it comes down to, they just don't know what they want. They haven't gotten clear about that. Yeah. And, and they also I, don't realize that that is the first big step. They got to be clear. Cause otherwise, yeah, you're all over the map. You're not giving any direction, right? And you're not getting anything coming to you because you don't know what you want. So yeah, not knowing what you want is coming to you. It's exactly. <laughs> you get more of that. <laughs> If you're focused on all the bills you have, it's amazing Amazing that you're getting more bills. And hey, isn't that attention. the truth? That is so true. Well, it has been my absolute pleasure having you on here, Robert. And Thanks. tell us once again, I know we can kind of see in the background, but it's backwards, realestateinvestor.com. And uh, what was the other one at, with Ask Rob? Or? Yeah, I am Rob 360 dot com 360 okay perfect well we'll we'll make sure we put that in the show notes for you guys too and uh, robert again thank you so much thank you edna it's been a pleasure for sure